Hi there viewers, I'm Nico GTR and welcome back to Assetto Corsa Competizione. We're at the Hungara ring for today's track guide, a twisty circuit that's difficult to overtake on but always produces interesting racing. Featured on the F1 calendar, world champions Damon Hill, Fernando Alonso and Jensen Button all had their maiden F1 wins at this epic circuit. We'll go around the track stopping for a moment at each turn, pointing out brake markers, car positioning and gear shifting to get a nice clean lap of the Hungara ring. Then we'll do it flat out. To start the lap you want a good exit out of turn 14 for the best run down the start finish straight. Keep it tight to the inside and get on the power as early as you can. I'll go into further detail at the end of the lap. Ok so heavy braking zone, turn 1 can gain you a lot of time if you get it right. The first marker to look out for is the 150 board, I start braking halfway between this and the 100 board. Shift down to second and hit the apex. Use all the track on the exit running onto the astroturf but keep it within the limits, if you go too wide you will invalidate your hot lap or get a warning in the race. Move across to the right for turn 2, it's easy to understeer wide here compromising your run through turn 3. Brake marker here is the start of the red and white kerb here, braking just before it. Shift down to second and keep tight to the inside. Turn 3 should be flat out getting as close to the inside as you can. The inside kerb is high though so cutting it too much can send the car into a spin. Use all the track on the exit, again keeping it within the track limits. When I say track limits, I mean two wheels inside the white line. Up to the fast left of turn 4 then, the number one place to invalidate the laps would be wary of the limit. Position the car to the right, making that entry as wide as you can. Brake marker here is the start of the red and white kerb again. I actually use the kerbs as markers a lot for this circuit which is quite convenient as they're on the track and you should definitely be spending most of your time looking at the track. So brake at the start of the kerb and shift down to fourth. Cut the inside kerb, giving a little throttle here will shift the weight of the car to the rear, lifting the front making the kerb a little more forgiving. When you brake you transfer the weight of the car to the front, forcing the nose down. If you're braking whilst going over kerbs, you're forcing the nose into the kerb, often resulting in the kerb chucking the car offline. Use all the track on the exit and then move back into the centre of the track. Brake marker for turn 5 is the end of the blue and green barrier here. Braking right on it, shift down to second and tuck into that apex. On throttle as early as you can running out on the exit using all the track. Turn 6 and 7 then, the chicane. Brake marker here, the start of the red and white kerb. Braking right on it and shift down to second. Be careful of both inside kerbs here as they have sausage kerbs positioned to prevent too much cutting, they will unsettle the car often resulting in a spin. Use all the track on the exit and keep right for turn 8. Brake marker here is the tall post here, braking right on it. Shift down to second and tuck into the apex. Keeping left for entry into turn 9. Stay in second gear, braking's not really a thing here, just very light dab if you need to. Hit the apex and use all the track on the exit. Move across to the centre of the track and then tuck back in left for turn 10. Keep the car positioned to the left for entry into turn 11. A fast corner this one so carry as much speed as the car will allow. I find a small amount of braking at the start of the red and white kerb here is necessary though. Tuck into the apex and use all the track on the exit. A correction on the wheel compromises my exit speed here, the Lambo just wanted to chuck the rear out every chance it got. A real tricky car to drive fast I found. On to turn 12 then. Keep left and the brake marker is the start of the kerb on the left here, braking just before it. Shift down to second and hit the apex. I missed it but you can cut it a little and use all the track on the exit. Move across to the right and your brake marker for turn 13 is the overhead sponsorship board, braking as you pass underneath. Shift down to first, keeping as tight to the inside as you can. You can short shift up for a bit of extra traction and use all the track on the exit. 
Move back across to the left for the final turn. Brake marker here is the Marshall's Hut here. Start braking just before it, shift down to second and tuck into the inside, keeping it nice and tight. On throttle as early as you can and use all the track on the exit. And there we go guys, across the line. Okay, let's sit at full speed. Just quickly guys, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter and Twitch at NicoGTR underscore for live streams, channel updates and more. I'll leave links in the description below. Back to the lap then. There we go. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that this helps you to improve your lap times here at Budapest. I do have a hot lap video of this track too, showcasing my best ever time here. There will be a thumbnail link on screen at the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to catch future track guides and hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's video. I really appreciate all of your support guys. Cheers everybody and I'll see you next time.